G'day guys, welcome back to Reach Me or Teach Me. Uh, all part of my NFL learning journey at the moment, I've just decided to check out the NFL positions explained. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe guys, help the channel out, and uh, let's go. I've got my little notepad here and a pen, so let's go. Where is my pen? Why is it not gone? There we go. What's up guys, the snowman here. A little bit of a change up today. It's all about American foot within the team's oh, off uh, you know watching trying to figure out who's supposed to be doing what on the football field so this is going to be kind of a quick beginner's guide where we go through every position on the football field talk about what each position does and then their role within the team's offense or defense and here's our diagram of all the positions and how they look together on the field in football we have 11 players on the offense and 11 players on the defense on the field at the same time okay. i want to highlight each position one by one and briefly talk about their response Responsibilities, starting with perhaps maybe the most important position in football, the quarterback. When the quarterback or QB touches the football every play, they receive the ball from the center at the start of each play. And then if it's a passing play, they'll try to throw the football to one of their receivers. If it's a running play, they'll hand the ball off to their running back. The quarterback can also scramble and run the ball themselves. But uh, the QB is so important because whatever play the coaches call on the sideline, it's the quarterback's job to relay that information to the rest of the offense and make any necessary audibles or adjustments yep. uh, they're basically the leader on the field they have to know where everyone is supposed to be they know all the plays everything necessary to run the offense and former patriot and current buccaneer tom brady about as good as quarterbacks come they're the biggest stars in the nfl another important position on the offense is their running back also known as a halfback or tailback essentially the running back's primary duty is to run the football they receive the football from the quarterback on running plays and then it's their job to make defenders miss or run them over and try okay, to gain yep. as many yards as possible pretty, pretty much if the offense the is running a passing play as opposed to a rushing play uh, then the running back has a couple of other roles sometimes they'll stay in the backfield and help block defenders to give the QB more time to throw mm -hmm. running backs can also head out and run routes themselves okay. and potentially catch the ball from the quarterback and uh, try to gain yardage that way but it's mainly about running sometimes blocking and catching too. Jonathan Taylor of the Indianapolis Colts one of the best running backs in the game today not as common in modern football is the fullback in fact some teams today don't even have fullbacks on their roster fullbacks are like a supersized version of the running back they're typically pretty strong pretty beefy guys and their main job is to block for the running back they kind of lead the way for okay. the running back and uh, try to open up as much space for the rb as possible fullbacks can occasionally receive handoffs and run the ball themselves or even speak, catch dude. balls in the passing game but most of the time they're wow. blockers God. Uh, like Patrick Ricard on the Baltimore Ravens. Now we get to wait, wide wait, receiver. Wait, They're blockers. I uh, like Patrick Ricard. Patrick Ricard. Patrick, I'm going to guess that's U R Q U A R T or D? on the Baltimore Ravens. Now we get to wide receivers. These are the entertaining pass catching specialists. Okay. They typically yep. possess some combination of height, strength, or speed in order to separate from defenders and get open. If it's a passing play, then the wide receiver's job is to run his route, try to break free of whoever's guarding him, catch the ball if the quarterback throws it his way, and then keep running after the catch and try to pick up as many yards as possible. Wide receivers are the main targets that the QBs are throwing to. They can line up out wide or closer to the rest of the offense in what's called the slot. If it's a running play, wide receivers will be relied upon to block a little bit as well, but mainly their job is to get open, catch the football, and keep running. Justin Jefferson on the Vikings is excellent at running routes, catching the football, and running after the catch. The next position on offense is the tight end. They play right next to the offensive line, which we'll get to next, but tight ends are kind of like hybrids between wide receivers and offensive linemen. Depending on the situation, they'll be asked to run routes and catch passes just like wide receivers. However, they'll also stay back and block not only on run plays, but on pass plays too. It uh, just depends on how the play is set up. Some tight ends are more receivers than blockers. For example, Travis Kelsey on the Chiefs may be listed as a tight end, but he's very fleet of foot, a tremendous route runner and catcher of the football. So his receiving is probably a little bit more valuable despite the blocking ability too. In the last position. So there's a little bit of versatility. Like it's not as absolutely rigid as it sort of sometimes originally sounds. 
question on offense is the offensive line. These are the largest men in the offensive huddle. Their one job being protect the quarterback. Uh, do not let anyone on defense touch their QB or anyone who has the ball on offense. Offensive linemen are constantly blocking, whether that's blocking forward for run plays or blocking on pass plays. Uh, breaking down the O-line specifically, the center is the player in the middle who snaps the ball to the QB to start each play. The two guards are next to the center, and then the two offensive tackles are next to the guards on the outside. Every team has five offensive linemen designed to protect the quarterback. So that's the offense. They're trying to score the points. Then on the other side, you have the defense who's trying to stop the offense from scoring. And like the offensive line, we have the defensive line, and in particular in the middle are the defensive tackles. Uh, these are thick, stout behemoths of men whose main job is to clog up the running lanes and eat space. They're constantly battling with the opposing center and offensive guards. The defensive tackles are trying to push their way forward, uh, close down any space for running backs or quarterbacks. They're also trying to rush the passer on passing plays. Aaron Donald is the ultimate disruptor at the DT position, moving linemen Aaron with force Donald. and trying to blow up any kind of running or passing plays. Also on the defensive line, right next to the defensive tackles are the defensive ends. They have a pretty similar role to the DTs. They're also trying to clog up running lanes and tackle any ball carrier, but what separates defensive ends is that their main goal is to rush the passer on passing plays. They're constantly okay. trying to push their way into the backfield and tackle the quarterback for sacks and loss of yards. And they're typically pretty quick okay. in addition to being strong, always battling with offensive tackles, trying to get around them or go through them in order to get to the QB. Brown's defensive end, Miles Garrett, is a nightmare to block, a true menace when he's hunting quarterbacks on Sundays. Next, we have my favorite position Nightmare to block, a true menace when he's hunting. Brown's defensive end, Miles Garrett, is a nightmare to block, a true menace when he's hunting quarterbacks on Sundays. Next, we have my favorite position on the football field, the linebacker. They play just behind the defensive line. There's both middle linebackers and outside linebackers, and they have a number of duties and responsibilities. Their main job is to make tackles. Whoever has the ball, whether it's the running back, a receiver, the quarterback, linebackers are always trying to make tackles and stop the attack. They have to defend against the okay. run by shedding blocks and tackle ball carriers. Uh, linebackers also have to cover receivers in the passing game and rush the quarterback on blitz plays too. Bobby Wagner is a great linebacker, always reliable, such a dependable okay. tackler and high football IQ. So, so they're the 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 very very uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not flexible, but they're the very uh, situationally dependent players so they'll see what's happening and pick up the gap okay Q. Then we move into the secondary where we have our defensive backs and the defensive backs are split up into cornerbacks yep. and safeties. Cornerbacks make uh, tackles and occasionally help try to stop the run game, but mainly they're on the field to cover the opposing team's okay. wide receivers. Corners are constantly shadowing and following the receivers on passing plays, trying to get in the way and either tackle them immediately once they catch the ball or uh, break up the pass while it's in midair or better yet, intercept the ball okay. themselves and then run the opposite way. Xavier Howard, someone who's always trying to lock up receivers and uh, mitigate passing plays. Last position on defense, safety is pretty similar to cornerbacks, only they tend to stay deeper on the field. They're kind of like the last line of defense. Guys like Minka Fitzpatrick help with deep okay. pass coverage. Uh, sometimes they'll play man-to-man -man like corners, but most of the time they're guarding the deeper areas during both passing and running plays. And the strong safety is usually the larger and stronger of the two safeties, uh, helping closer to the line of scrimmage and more with run defense while the free safety is usually smaller and faster uh, stays extremely deep okay. providing help yep. on long pass plays two positions left we've got the kicker or the place kicker they don't play on offense or defense but the kickers handle kickoffs extra points after touchdowns and field goals all three situations require the kicker to kick the ball off the ground either from the hands of a holder or off of a tee and then finally we have punters as well punters only come on the field on fourth down when the head coach decides it's not smart to go for it, so they have to pump the ball away to the other team. After receiving the snap, the punter drops the football and kicks or punts it 
it from the air in order to uh, relinquish possession to the defensive team and send the ball as far downfield as possible. Uh, kickers and punters considered a part of special teams as opposed to the offense or defense, but uh, still very important nonetheless. Thanks a lot for watching my NFL Positions Explained video. If you want more NFL content, please check out my uh, How Does the NFL Work video, basically where I go over the format and kind of the structure as a whole a little bit more of the NFL. But for the most part, I, I do do mostly uh, soccer and tennis and basketball content. But if you want more sports content, please subscribe. Mate, I tell you what, I really, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really informative without being boring. Uh, it made complete sense. I think I, I got a decent grasp of just about every position on the field there. The video was nice and short and succinct, succinct to the point. I oh, absolutely, I'm going to hit a like. I'm going to subscribe this fella. Let's do that right now. Where are we? Like, subscribe. And I'm going to check out this How Does the NFL Work video as well. I think he's going to explain that really well for me. It's also given me a really good idea, so leave that with me for a couple of days. I'm going to come back to you with something. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed that one, guys. I got a lot out of that. I know it probably wasn't super entertaining or anything for you, but um, no, really, really good and informative for me. That's helped put a, quite a few pieces of the puzzle together. So stick around, and we will see you in the next one.